Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. This new video is about Editex. If you haven't watched the previous videos of this playlist, you can find the link of the whole playlist in the description below. And if you are new in my channel, please remember to subscribe the channel and hit the bell button to be aware about new videos. And uh, if you have any suggestion, any comment and any question, you can write it in the comments below and I will be happy to read them and to answer them. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Let's get started. Hello and welcome again. I have created an empty project and named it edit text example. Let me start with an example. This is a login page of an application. As you see, I have two boxes here to write a username and password. These boxes are edit texts. So whenever we have something in our application or we need something in our application to take a text from the user, we should use edit text. There are different types of edit text. For example, this edit text is used to uh, take the username. So the input type of this edit text can be uh, a name. And the input type of this edit text should be a password. By changing the input type in our edit text, the type of the keyboard automatically will be changed. For example, if I change the input type of this to numeric input type, the keyboard that will be open uh, has only numbers inside it. And uh, when is the password, after typing each character, the character automatically will be changed to a dot. Let's go back to Android Studio. I'm gonna go to activity underscore main. For this project, I need this, uh, so I'm gonna relocate it to the top of the screen. And in the palette, in the text category, the first one is the text view, and the other, the rest of them, are different types of edit text. All of them are the same, only the input type of them are different. I'm gonna add some of them, then we will go together to the uh, code and we will see the differences between them. This one is the plain text. The password. Numeric password, email, and phone. I think these are enough, and you can uh, check the rest later by yourself if you want. Okay, let's go to the code. The first one that I add is this one. The input type is text person name. Exactly the same edit text that uh, we used in this application to write the username. The next one is text password. Next one, uh, number password. Next one, email address. Next one, four. As you see, everything is the same completely, only the type of it, the input type is different. We have a text here, and it will be shown here. Technically, we don't use the text inside the edit text, but we need a hint.
The hint is the same as the text but with a lower opacity just to help the user to know what should write inside the text view. I'm gonna copy this line and paste it into the others as well. And uh, this one is the pass password. I'm gonna change it to password for this one. numeric password and as you see it will be changed here automatically and for this one email and for the last one phone Now let's check it on emulator. Okay, for the name, I have a normal keyboard and this will redirect the user to the next edit text. For the password, when I'm typing, automatically it will be to the dot and this one again will redirect to the next one. This one is numeric password, so the keyboard has only the numbers and to the next one email address has the symbol uh, has the symbol to make uh, writing the email address to the user easier and this one phone number uh, we have plus here to have uh, the international phone numbers uh, it's just like double zero and here in the last edit text it changed to the check mark and when I'm pressing filling the form is completed now let's go back again and let me change the input type of the first one to another thing the input type multi-line text what is a multi-line text? whenever we are using a edit text uh, to give the option to the user to write a long note we need a multi-line edit text let me check it on the emulator now this button has changed to the enter and by pressing it it will go to the next line and I can write anything I want so these are the different types of edit text now let's uh, see how we can use an edit text and take the text and show it somewhere or store it I'm gonna keep the first one as a multi-line and uh, I keep this one the edit text to show the text that we are writing here inside the edit text let me increase the size of it the text size
okay that's okay and i'm gonna drag and drop a button here I'm gonna create an application and whenever I am pressing the button anything that is written inside the edit text will be taken and will be put inside a variable and then it will be shown inside this uh, text view for this I need three unique IDs for each of this txt1 and this one edt and this one is button okay that's good let's go back to main activity.kt I should initialize the widgets here. The type of is this one is edit text, uh, sorry, text view and I'm gonna duplicate this line. with the name edit but I'm gonna set the function set and click listener to the button and simply by this uh, function whenever we are pressing the button uh, we will take the text of the edit text and put it inside the text view for this I need a variable I'm gonna call it str short for a string and then that's equal to edit text dot text dot to string so by this line when I'm pressing the uh, button the text of the edit text will be taken and will be put inside this uh, string variable now txt1 dot text dot um, sorry equals to str and in the second line <coughs> the text of the edit text which was inside this variable will be set to the text view let's check it together
as you see the text of the edit text is showing here inside the text view Okay, that's everything for this video. If you find any value inside this video, please remember to subscribe and share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up because your thumbs up gives me energy. If you have any question about this uh, video, please remember to write it inside the comments below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. If you don't know how to use the other parts of this um, application, for example, the button and the text view, I will put the link of the whole playlist on top of this video and you can click on it and watch them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.